brother has asked a question if um, he is being invited uh, every Friday for a uh, Zikr Mahfil and uh, is it allowed can I go there for unity and uh, question he's being invited to uh, something called like a zikr Allah and uh, like a misbah or something like that he's being invited to to join the gathering of other um, other people where they recite uh, zikr of Allah and uh, they recite the rune um basically this it, there was a beautiful hadith when uh, uh when the sahaba was walked in when the sahaba walked into the masjid and he saw a people into a gathering who was doing a zikr of allah in a in a loud uh voice so sahaba told them to stop these things at the prophet is uh, still a life between us so this is basically was uh, indicating that um, this is bid'ah and this has nothing to do with islam you can do a uh, zikr as much as possible and uh, the more you do is more it will be more uh, clean up your purify your heart but setting up this uh, zikr mahfil and the zikr allah mahfil having a uh, zikr dua because i have seen like a many um Zikr Mahfils but they are reciting Allahumma sholli ala Muhammad This is not something the teachings of the Prophet Sallallahu and the Sahaba and the four ulama This is basically uh, people come up with something a new uh, logic where they are trying to uh, build a unity But we can build a unity by um, uh, by presenting what is the true message of the Prophet ﷺ, how to teach a deen and what is the, the sahih way uh, to the zikr but not something the way of setting up the zikr mahfils and uh, doing a zikr Allah this is not proven anywhere in the sahih hadith so because when people counter argue like it is okay but I mean when, when you say like it is okay so that's like the the life of the Prophet ﷺ is it's okay we, we don't worry about that we just want to do this dhikr and that dhikr in the joining and they have been making a circles and they are uh, saying in a loud and also making a dhikr dua and th things like that this is not something from the program from the sahih hadith anyway this is basically from the elders from the buzurg and the awliyas and these people does that this is not something the teaching of the sahaba because i'm just i just gave you the example of the sahih of uh, the hadith where the prophet uh, where the sahaba was walked in when uh, walked into the masjid he saw many uh, sahabas was sitting in the gathering and uh, one of them making uh, a loud of uh, zikr Allah and the sahaba I think it was Abdullah Abdullah bin Masoud I'm not sure you can check it um, then he forbade them to stop doing that as the Prophet ﷺ is being still alive between us so we do not something come up with something a new logic and the new monopoly of making a changes in our day so we need to stick with the uh, the real way we can do a zikr as much as possible and uh, we can do zikr to any time there is no certain way there is no special way to do that it does not have to be in a map it does not have to be in the in the making of circles in the gatherings in the masjid oh imam is like you know reciting Allahumma Allah and everybody is like repeating in the loud so this thing does not exist they can do individual zikr as much as possible it's going to pray if you are pure by heart uh, their heart but putting everything into into the gathering of the circles this is considered as a bid'ah because this is not taught by the prophet ﷺ, nor sahaba and nor other uh, for great scholar may peace be and mercy be blessing upon them